Hey, yo, this is Curran Clavin, and you're watching the Wu Invasion Podcast. Want to get interviewed on the Wu Invasion Podcast show? Email interview at wuinvasionpodcast.com today. That's interview at wuinvasionpodcast.com. All right, check this out. You know who this is. This is DJ Symphony, and this is the Wu Invasion Podcast show. You got it locked right here. Yo, know, peace. It's your girl, Maji Reverie of KS 107.5 in Denver, Colorado, baby. All day long. And guess what, man? We in the building right now. It's quarantine time, and everybody is woofing right now. You got afros. You got long fingernails <laughs> and all that. My, <laughs> you got my man in the building with us. I've been trying to interview this dude since 2000, I want to say, maybe 15, 14, because... I interviewed him a long time ago. I forgot how he did it. Maybe on Radio Invasion. I can't remember. But I've been friends with this dude ever since I've watched his growth. And I mean, I, when I first started rocking with him, he had like probably 10 people viewing his videos. He has 400,000 something people follow him right now on Instagram. And I'm very proud of this dude. This is my man, Cajun slash Kerwin slash Claiborne slash the wig dude. What up with okay. you? Okay. Ryan, what's up with that? I can't call it, man. You looking good. Man, don't tell me that now. I'm doing bad. I ain't had a haircut or nothing. I'm doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I remember when you first started, bro. So to see where you are, man, I'm take I'm proud of you, bro. Like for real. Like you know a lot of people hate on you and they give you fake love. I'm actually sincerely proud of you, bro. You know what I mean? No, you gave me uh I think you was the first one that gave me my interview. Yeah. I never took credit for that because I'm not that type of person, but I am the first person to ever interview you. No, you told me. You was like, I can't believe people ain't interviewing you or nothing like that. You was like, they gonna, they going to reach out to you, but you gave me my first interview. I remember that, my first one. Thank you, bro. I so, appreciate being a part of your um your legacy and stuff like that. But I seen something in you back then that a lot of people were sleeping on. I mean, first of all, you do characters – that's like not just you. You do the uh, the girl with the wig. My favorite character that you do is the uncle. It's like he wear, <laughs> he's like ashy. I, what's his name? What's that character? Uh, uncle Uncle Leroy. Uncle, uncle Leroy. Leroy. Oh. That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you How do you come yeah. up with this shit you do, man? Man, really, I got crazy family members. Uh, don't they don't understand? Like my family members crazy. Like from my mama, my grandmama, but. Like I can be out and just see people just doing crazy stuff, and I just automatically like, okay, I'm finna go home. And it's gonna make some to it. <laughs> Do it quick. Yo, what made you want to jump into comedy? Were you just always funny coming up, or? <laughs> I was. I always been like this. Always like in school. That's probably why I want pants or nothing. Cause I, you know, what I'm saying I used to make people laugh and stuff like that. Like one take my my, you know, school work serious. Until I started, like, you know, I make y'all laugh if y'all give me the answers to the, you know, the tests and stuff. So I always been like this. No doubt. I, I, I'm going to make a bold prediction, Kerwin. I think uh, this is 2020, I believe. By 2022 to 2024, you're going to either be in a movie with somebody, like a big movie, or you're going to have a really big radio station job where you're bringing you in and you're doing your appearances and stuff like that, and you're going to be traveling and touring. Doing, you're already touring because – I've seen the schedule that you had. I've actually missed two shows of yours that was in Sacramento area. And I was out here, too, at the time, and I was on tour break. But, yo, my family was like, yo, you gone all the time. So I couldn't, I couldn't come out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I had uh, – I supposed to have been coming back, like, next month. But we just wait, man. We wait until all this, you know, this stuff clear up. They, they letting everybody out, but – we gonna let the first batch of people go out there first just to test the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit, oh, hey, hey, Kurt, oh, we I, we gonna sit all the niggas out first. <laughs> we gonna be out there looking just to see. Hey, dang, it ain't nothing new. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna, <laughs> I'm not going Tuesday over there. Uh -uh, nah, Hell no, nah, I'm with you on that, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have you been using this time wisely though? Have you been doing skits at home? Are you thinking about more material? I mean, I know you can't tour right now, and it makes it kind of difficult. But it's I've been uh, it's a lot. But you know, what I'm saying when I can get away from my kids and stuff like that, it's, it's all right because they don't let me do nothing. Like if I try to do a video, they hollering all in the background, and 
I just got to hide or go somewhere because they're not going to let me do it. But I, I've been doing a lot of material since I'm at home, fixing a lot of stuff, like, get back on the road because right now I, I done fixed a fence. I'm only doing my neighbor house now because I don't got nothing else to do. So I need some more work. I'm ready to get back on this road. Yo, you, um, how many exact characters do you have in your arsenal? Ooh, one, two. I got the old woman, the old man. I got Keisha. I got the little kid that they, that's when you, when we first started. With the kids. The, 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 yeah, the little kid. And the granddad. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I got the blind shelf. Everybody say, bring your old characters back. I'm like, that's a lot of work, man. That's a whole lot of editing and <laughs> stuff like that. But I got like, ooh, I think, let's just say seven at the most. Yeah. Do you have a favorite character you play? There's somebody you like playing more than one of the others? I would say the, the girl character, the Keisha character. But then again, I be just some days I like I'm a dude now, but it be days like it be like people be like commenting on the stuff and I'll be like going back and forth with them. I say, hold on, it's that's a character. Let me let me just stop. Because I'll go back and forth with somebody when they say something crazy on the video. I'm like, hold on. I'm not going to argue with nobody <laughs> on here. It just, it, that's the only thing. But, you know, I do it because I want them to see my real sister because that's who my character based on. My older sister. Like, she ratchet. She fight. She do all that. So, Wait, so, they they, so, so that's not... That's not um, that's not T. That's that you got another sister that's older than. I, yeah, I got an older sister. You ain't shit. Yeah. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Yo, crazy. you you are experiencing something that we all go through in entertainment. Um, I know you was doing music at one point, so of course I'm still into music and touring. But you have taken your taking your um your comedian career to a whole different level. So I'm noticing that in the beginning. You was getting hate a little bit, but not as much as now. And some of the content that you putting up, Facebook, Instagram, they starting to take it down. And you're getting complaints and shit like that. How are you dealing with the adversity of that? Like going from one extent to the next and a lot of people trying to bring you back down to the bottom. Uh, man, I, I try to pray about it, honestly. But then again, like. I just had somebody report a video that was from 2016. 2016. Crazy. And it, it just, it just, people hate because I don't cuss. You know, now I don't cuss in my video. It's clean. I'm not doing the crazy stuff. They just going to hate that. But that ain't going to stop me. I say if they delete my page, I'm just going to create another one. Yo, are you, are you getting more burnt? I'm I'm actually trying to learn how to take your approach with the no cursing, like even in these videos, these interviews and stuff. How is that working more better for you as far as like trying to get ads and a lot of people trying to pay more attention to you without using the profanity? Yeah, and the only only reason I did it because my mom started watching my videos and <laughs> she was like, "Is you doing the whole? I ain't know you cuss like this. You doing a whole lot of cuss. I'm like, don't just don't." Don't watch the video. Don't watch it. Then my grandmama started watching. Ah, like, oh Lord, that's over. Let me stop. Let me stop cussing. And I just cleaned it up, and my <laughs> following got big, and a lot of people were sharing my video. Cause I, when I say I used to cuss, I'm talking about every word come out of my mouth was a cussing it was word. Was a cuss word, yeah. Yeah. So I cleaned it up, and it's, it's I hate to say it, but it's better now because you know everybody and their mama sharing it. And now I see it now because I got, like, kids following me now and yeah. watching my videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it clean and do it like this. Where the granddad at? I haven't seen the ashy-ass granddad in so long. Man, I, I need to bring him back, man. I need to get him out the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Carwin, if there was anybody comedy-wise you could share a stage with that are alive, who would be the comedy you could open with, share a stage who will be your your favorite, your go-to person? I got I it's it's kind of hard, but I, I say Dave Chappelle and Jamie Foxx, something like I I I like they well, really I pick Dave Chappelle. I like Dave Chappelle. I like all, you know, I like uh, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, but I kind of like Dave Chappelle because I used to watch uh the Chappelle show a lot. So I have to say that. 
no doubt. So I, I, I just got one more question for you, and I'll let you go. I know you're a busy dude. Um, upcoming, I know we doing the coronavirus thing, separation, but there's going to be a time when you're going to be touring again and you're going to be doing your shows and stuff like that. Do you have any projects that you're working on right now, whether it's documentary, whatever you got going on, just plug it, give you a shout out, you know, let the people know, keep them current with what you got going on. Oh, they could, uh, right now, um, uh, when all this clear out, I was working on my movie, putting all my characters in the movie, sort of like love the professor and stuff like that. So I got that. And that's like, I think it's, that was like with, I think I've, I've been to too many cities. I don't, I don't remember, but I'm working as soon as this get done. Start back doing that. But um, I got like, I mean, they can just follow me on my Facebook, you know, because I it boost my Facebook up. Give me like, uh, meet me at a million or something. <laughs> a million or something. And I'm going to need DJ, I need one of them plaques on that wall or something because you said you were going to send me a gift and I ain't got it yet. So <laughs> Hey, dude, I'm since, working on it, man. Since, since, since we own it, like, it's been some years and stuff, and I keep going to the mailbox, man. You know how you, how you look out the window when your dad is say he going to call, come pick you up, and every time pass by, you looking out the window. That's how I'm looking at the mailbox and stuff. i like, DJ, he said he was going to send me something. Yeah, I got you. Don't even trip, bro. It's on the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what it is. This is my man, Kerwin, in the building, man, Cajun out there in Mississippi. I'm your man, DJ Symphony, and this is the Woo Invasion Podcast Show. Yo, it's your girl, Mozzie Reverie of Cas 107.5 and Devil Salute, Kerman, for joining us. No doubt, man. I just want to say thank you for um for giving us your time. I see it's getting dark outside, so we're going to let your black ass get back in the crib. Cause they <laughs> hey, they killing niggas out there. <laughs> <laughs> look, that's why I'm looking. No. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> look, that's why I'm looking right now. Before we let you go, I just want to um you know give our give your fans and my fans and Manji's fans a quick treat of one of my favorite videos and one of your favorite videos. Just go ahead and introduce that video that I'm about to play for. These videos is my classic, man. When you get in an accident and, you know, the person that hit you got some money. So you got to fake like you hurt. Serious <laughs> money. Run it. Yo, Carwin, let everyone know who brought you the exclusive love. Woo Invasion Podcast. You need to put your seatbelt on. For what, girl? I don't know how to drive. Oh, my goodness. They say I'm a storm. BBS. Oh! Look out! What? I know she seen me. Ah! What is it? That's a... Girl, that's an Audi. You can get gone. Go out of here. No. You get out of here? No. What? That's an Audi. One of them expensive cars. Oh no, we hurt. We hurt. We oh hurt. no, we hurt. We she is. Here she go. Here she keep going. Go. She right there. I passed that. Y'all all right? No, we not all right. Girl, did you see us? You must ain't have your seatbelt on. I had my seatbelt on. You knocked me out my seatbelt. I didn't even hit you that hard. Uh, how you didn't hit me that hard and you knocked me under here? You gonna need your baby. Call the police and the ambulance right now. Call the police. We need scratches, helicopters, and everything. Free. G.I. Free. Oh, no. You done hit us and made my friend pass out, baby. We finna sue the clothes off you. You can get ready. Free. She ain't talking. She passed out. I feel like I'm finna pass out. I gave you all my information. My, information. my name is Keisha. I'm passed out now. <laughs>